Faith and welcome to another edition of Motivational Fitness Thursdays. Obviously I'm Coach Mick, here by myself, but I'm not here by myself because I have you guys here with me. We're going to work on some core stuff, just core alone. That core, it creeps up on us uh, before you know it. You got to hold your breath and tie your shoes. That's what I had to do, uh, do it throughout this, com this, uh, this COVID. Uh, uh, pandemic situation that we've been under undergoing, this quarantining type situation that we've uh, that we've embarked upon. But it's time to start working that thing out because we're looking for you guys to get back on campus, and we're looking to try and get be fit when we're back on campus. Here, all right, we're right back in it, and we're going to start with some in and outs. I'm going to keep my feet toward here. Again, obviously we have the modified versions of. We also have the just straight in, right? The all in. Uh, reach your teeth, rub your knuckles, and get going with it. But the uh, modified version, the arms are straight down, uh, just below your shoulders. I don't want it too far back because you, you don't want to lean or be uncomfortable for that matter. But the arms are straight down, legs are going straight into your, into your chest and back. Or, like I said, for those who, uh, who are ready to go to get after it, we're just going to go with the arms straight up and bringing those knees in and out. All right, that's one for me. Here we go. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. My customary fifteen is good enough for me because we got a few few of these to do within the cycle. So, all right, we're right back into. I'm taking a quick break, kind of stretching it out a little bit, but we're going right back into the same kind of positioning. Hands are straight down or you have those hands straight up, but we're gonna do some bicycles, all right? I'm gonna go with my hands up, obviously, and here I go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. All right, give yourself a quick break. Got 10 seconds here. This is time for you to tile off. I can get my tile somewhere, somewhat close to me. Get a sip of water, but we're right back in it. All right, here we go. Going backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Woo! Rest that stomach a little bit. Again, opportunity in between these workouts for you to get a quick stretch through your stomach. Really quick one, a good one is just an upward dog. All right, arms just below my shoulders, and I'm stretching my stomach. Have the malaria period. All right, now I'm right back down. I need to go quick. You're meant to go quick. But that's how we burn calories while doing exercises. Now, the modified version for this. And again, it's important that we're not using our arms back here to throw ourselves up as much as we're using our core to pull ourselves up. Right? And touch it. Now, I have a tendency to put my hand behind my ear. I don't want it behind my head because I don't want to be tempted to use my neck to pull myself up either. I want to use my core. Don't want to hurt my neck, don't want to hurt my hand, don't want to hurt anything, all right? So I use the arm at 90 degrees, and the other hand kind of behind my ear, it's kind of that safety valve, or just sort of a, a mental note that I'm, I'm bringing my body up, I'm bringing my head up. I'm not really using my hand to bring anything up. But here I go. Again, those hands will go, my legs will go straight down, that's the modified version, and I'm gonna go with the Indian style, all right? And we're going up, and cross it, and touch the ground. There's one, and we're going one for one. One, two, two, going straight up, three, and then down, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, Seven, 
inches from the ground. The other one, I'm going to try and bring it as straight as I can possibly bring it up and to as, 90, as close to 90 degrees as possible. You can't get to 90 degrees, then yeah, you can't get to 90 degrees. Don't worry about it. Don't hurt yourself. Get as far as you can, but make sure that leg is straight because again, we're really putting put pressure, really working that lower abdomen area. There. Abdomen area, we'll say. Alright, here we go. One. One, of course it's one for one. Two, two, I'm holding a thousand in between. Three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, eleven, eleven, breathe, twelve. 12, 13, 13, 14, 14, 15, and 15. Woo! If you don't feel those, then you're not doing them right. We're gonna take a, a little break here. Kind of stretch a little bit, only 10 seconds though. I'm not gonna take no more than 10 because I wanna keep that burn happening. All right, we're still burning calories. All right. And so now we go into quick ones that we kind of demonstrated a little bit at the beginning there. We're going quick. And I'm going to do 16. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Woo. Wish we were done, don't you? We're not. We got a few more to do. I'm going to get up and stretch it out a little bit, kind of walk it off. To get kind of lazy laying down there in between exercises because all you want to do is just breathe or in some cases you just want to quit. But we don't want to quit. We're not built that way. God has not given you the spirit of fear, right? We are all more than conquerors. All right, so we're right back down ready to conquer the next exercise. Right, Brother George? Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm ready to lay down. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready to lay down. Okay, so we're right back down now. These are kind of my favorites. We're bringing both feet, right? My feet are together, I'm bringing both feet up to 90 degrees or close to 90 degrees as possible. Once I get here at 90, not over, not below. Once I get at 90, I'm gonna try and tooch up and then come right back down. Now, the modified version of this is just bring your feet all the way down. The non-modified version is we stay at six feet once we come down. I come up, a tooch, I come back at six feet. Modified as I go all the way down, but we come all the way back up. Do as many as you can do. I got about 15 in me. 15 is a good number. And here's the thing too, a little cheat for you, or a little, a little extra information for you. 
is it's easier to keep track of numbers if you're using the exact same one. So if you're doing these exercises, try to keep the same number. Even if you have to take a break in between to try and like get to that number, take that break and then get to that number. That way you don't forget where you are. And you can kind of gauge as to how far you've progressed and so forth. All right, enough talk, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, I'm gonna feel these. Thirteen. 14, and 15, 15, darling. Lift, leg lifts. I'm not done though. It just look like we're done. We're not done, don't count us out. All right? All right, getting back up again, keep it moving, because again, we're still burning. All right, the towel off. Water. Just because we do the summer months, and we're not experiencing as much heat or humidity that we normally experience during the summer months. Doesn't mean that you let down the water. water. In fact, studies have shown that we as human beings stop with our, end, our you know, release, diminish our intake of water when we get into the colder months, which causes more dehydration, right? Body has to excrete as well as replenish. So we've got to continue to just pile down that water, right? You should be doing no more. If this is a 16 ounce bottle here, I should be no, doing no less than maybe four of these bottles a day. And you should be doing no less than four of these bottles a day. Those who are conscientious about losing weight, cutting their figure, gaining, getting, gaining muscle, getting strength, just feeling better about yourself, great health, you may want to go maybe two or three more bottles up, right? The, uh, you see a lot of these uh, um, guys who are boxers, who are wrestlers, who are MMA fighters, they, do, they have a cut weight day where they just pound, pound, pound water while they're working out. They do extreme working out that we're not gonna do here. But, but the water intake, we can definitely do all throughout the day. And before you, I mean, you keep four bottles on you, before you know it, you're down four bottles in no time. Eight to, eight to, eight to 10 hours of your day, just drinking water. And you can possibly have a little, no, I won't say it. But you can possibly have a little soda if you want, <laughs> some, a little bit. Maybe a little juice, some healthy something. Uh, ginger ale, right? All right. I preached enough, we back down. All right, so now, I'm laying down, I'm coming, my hands obviously at a 90 degree angle because I don't want to use my arms to throw myself up. Just tear off a little bit. I don't want to use my arms, in fact I shouldn't. That way keep me from putting my arms down there. But I don't want to use my arms to throw myself up to touch my toes, right? I want to go straight up using my core coming up, touching my toes. Now, the trick, I go back, once my lower, as, as I go back, my feet lift. And as you can see, my shoulders are still off the ground, right? My feet are at six inches, my shoulders are off the ground, and I do a crutch. Simple, isn't it? May not be. Here's, here's the modified version. We come up, I touch my toes, I go all the way down, I come up and I do a crutch. And right back down. Oops, sorry, water. And do a crutch and come back down. All right. So I got about 15, and that whole process is one. So when you come up and touch, and then you come up and do the crutch, that's one. And repeat it. All right. Here we go. I got about 15. I may need a break in between, but we'll see. Here we go. One. Woo! That was tough. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Ten. Whew. Think we put a break right there. 
Alright, because I'm going to do five more right now. Here we go. Ah, one more. Ah, three more. Ah, two more. Ah, I got one more. And I'm going to try and make this beautiful. Ah, that's as beautiful as I can get. Alright, we're done with that. And of course, I got to at this point give myself a little upward dog here. Stretch that out. out. Oof. Man, I'm gonna feel these tomorrow, but in a week, I'm gonna feel much better about myself. Cause I got through that. Alright? Hopefully less than a week you'll see results of the fruits of your labor as it's well spelled out in our good book. Alright. A couple more stretches in. You can do all types of different stretches. You can do some knee touches. That helps with that ab, that ab area, or even just the core area alone. Again, as we're working those upper thigh areas, going into your uh, the lower, lower. I'm sorry, your lower chest area. Right. You're still kind of working those things out. I'll do some kicks. Two, few kicks just as I keep my blood going. All right, we're done stretching. We ready to get back at it again. All right, these last, last couple within the cycle here. I'm gonna show you, all right, as I take my time and lay down. <laughs> Forget it, I'm laying down, you know you laying down too. But well, we're gonna get going here in a second. But I have, I'm laying on my side, right? Shoulder kind of, I mean, I'm kind of on my shoulder, but a little laying on the back side of my shoulder. And at the same, by the same token, I'm laying on my side, but not really, because I don't want to lay on that hip bone like that. That kind of hurts. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of on my butt a little bit, coming up. And the idea is to try and at some point, maybe touch the elbow to your knee. But my legs are straight, feet are together. I'm coming up my upper body, I'm coming up my lower body, and we're touching. You've probably seen these before, so I'm going to keep going here. We have, I got 15 on me. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Woo! Those fifteen felt good. Alright, we're gonna switch it around. If I do one side, I gotta do the other one. Alright? Right back down to the other side here. Man, I got a mean lather going. <laughs> Basketball coach. We used to always stand out there. I won't tell you some of the words from saying that I'm rapping. <laughs> but I'm saying, I wasn't saying those words. I was thinking. All right, so we back down and we're going back again. So here's the other thing the modified version. I can keep one foot down, kind of keep it at a bend, and just come up with the one. Come up with the one, right? And you're still getting your full range of motion and you're still working that side area of the abdomen, right? Coming up and touch it. That's easier for you to do that. If it's not, if you don't want the easy way, of which I can't take, I can't stand the easy way. Uh, we're, going, we're going with two. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Got those. Got those. Those exercises didn't know what hit them. All right, we hit them. We hit them. We're not done. Almost done. Giving you a time right now, period, to take some water. Giving me a period to take some water. Giving you a second or two to get a towel off. Of course, our coup de gras, our the close of this workout period. All right. Again, you know, it's cool being up here by yourself with the uh, my one camp people, Duke's production media company, media people that we uh, that we so staff here. Some of the best that I've ever been around. Been around the media uh, since I was in high school. These are some of the best people. If you ever, when you see these people on campus, when you get back to campus, or when you see them out periodically. Please go and thank them, because the productions that they put on with, uh, with the great uh, sermons and some of the, uh, uh, just the, 
things that you've seen through our recordings have come from these guys, and they are gifted and blessed, to, and, we're, and we're blessed to have them continuing to uh, go forward in the Lord and recording these great, great events that we have going on here in New Faith. All right, I'm done giving adulation, and they're done hearing it. All right, here we go. I got my feet up. Now, there's several ways, several ways of doing this as well. In fact, let me face you here. I'm gonna turn my mat forward. Sorry about my, my little behind in your face there. Fix that. There we go. So you can just see that I'm using, I'm using that weighted ball, but you can also use your hands. And your modified version is, you just wanna keep, keep those knees bent. And you want to go one side to the next side, touching those hands to the ground, right? If you can't touch the ground, get as far close to the ground as you can possibly get there. Really just push yourself. It's the last one. Really just go all out. I'm going to stay with 15. You do as many as you can. I got the weighted ball. You got your hands. You got a can. You got your little man. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Now, real quick, you never see me do this, but I felt a couple of times where my foot hit the, hit the floor, and that wasn't supposed to happen. I owe you guys five more. You sit and watch, critique, be judgy, big judgesons, be all that. But I'm gonna get these five that I missed. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. I'm done. You're done. But we're not quite done. Under the sun, God, who blesses us every morning to be up and able to do these things physically, mentally, we are to convey the light. That's all we got this morning for you. Please come back and see us as we continue to go forward in the Lord through a physical exertions so that we can also be energetic to give more spiritual guidance to those we have an opportunity to have an effect with. I uh, guess I'm done talking. Just real quick though, if you haven't voted, please go out and vote. Your voice does count no matter what anyone tells you. you don't let anyone deter you no matter what the climate is around here. We know where we live, we know how we live, but it's important to know that you have a say as into what goes on with your government and with your country. Please go out and vote. The last thing is, we're gonna be mixing this thing up a little bit. Again, I've been pushing this physical fitness portion of all. We've not been doing anything nutritional. That's coming your way, stay tuned. God bless, and we'll see you soon.